What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Deja, welcoming you back to Clockwise Crypto, where we bring you the latest crypto news and show you how to make money in the crypto space. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification just so you're alerted every time we drop these money-making videos. Okay, so on today's segment, we're gonna cover one of the stories of all these professionals that's accepting crypto. All right, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so before we jump into our stories that we're going to cover today, I wanted to look at, at the crypto fear and greed meter. Today it's reading greed. Um, yesterday it read greed. Now today it's one point, one point off of from where it was yesterday. So today is 55 and yesterday it was 56. Okay, so it went down a little bit. Um, last week it was fear and then the week before that or the last month sorry it was extreme fear okay so jumping right into our first story we're gonna talk about why biden's hostile tax proposal threatens crypto investors okay so crypto investors should be worried about biden's proposal for a minimum of 20 percent tax on unrealized gains. Now the harsh eat the rich measure has been described as unworkable, unconstitutional by many experts, which could cause crypto markets to tumble even further. Now the billion, the billionaire minimum income tax would target US households worth more than a hundred million in assets uh, assess a 20% minimum tax rate on both income and capital gains, meaning that all assets which have not yet become revenue, which also includes stocks and shares and or real estate are also subject to taxation. Now the plan seems to be full of a lot of holes, like from having an unclear definition for the income, the near impossibility of achieving its promises and many threats that could endanger investors from all classes, not just billionaires. Now, Willie Wu is convinced that it will crush the stock market. Imagine forcing every successful founder and investor to sell their shares in said successful public company every time valuation goes up. Okay, pay tax on those gains, then pass money from the best capital allocators to the worst. That don't sound right, right? The Democrats' aggressive approach this year, it focused on the idea that the wealthy pay low income tax rates. And it's because they're able to choose when their capital gains income appears. Now, they have many ways of sheltering those uh, profits from taxation. The Hill reports that if the undercover sting is successful, it's likely that this money would go to Bezos. It could allow governments around America to start taxing our wealth. All right. So, I mean, with I'm a little, I can't draw a bias on this story yet because I, I don't see the full bill. So I'm not sure everything that's exactly in it now do i feel we should be taxed on our crypto 20 percent? that's a bit high especially if it's not even revenue yet right so we i need to really look uh do a little deeper dive into this and see before i draw an opinion um on this subject so i'll look closely into this and we'll revisit uh, this topic in the next couple of weeks okay so moving on to our next story i want to talk about a celebrity minded mini trend that's taking salaries in bitcoin all right so the uh, green bay packers aaron Rodgers, he announced that he will be taking part of his salary in bitcoin now this is not only an act by which to draw attention to himself but it also Further, the conversation on how valuable people think cryptocurrency can get. Now, using his John Wick Halloween costume, Roger announced that he would be giving away $1 million worth of Bitcoin to some lucky fan. Now, he explained how it can be intimidating, but said that this was an opportunity for people who want in on the action. And we all know big, uh, crypto 
is very intimidating when you don't know anything about it. I know for me it was super intimidating because um, I was actually introduced to uh, crypto a long time ago, but I didn't hop on it because I didn't understand it. And that's why I preach to a lot of people, educate yourself. Okay, because once you educate yourself, it's really not that difficult. But because it's new, and you know, when sometimes when we're older, we're uh, we shy away from learning new things. So I definitely think, uh, I definitely feel educating yourself on the crypto market will definitely get you ahead of the game. Okay, at least it did for me. So. But anyway, jumping right back into our story. Um, Tom Brady was, he's one of the most well-known athletes in America today. And he started to invest his money into cryptocurrencies. Now he took an equity stake with FTX trading, which will pay him out through Bitcoin or any other coins like Ethereum and Ripple. The most famous football player of all time, Brady has, he just launched his own NFT platform. Now he's a FTX brand ambassador and he specialized in launching very successful businesses. So I have no doubt that this business will be, will take off. Okay. So also the New York Giants running back, uh, Saquon Barkley, he announced that he will be receiving all his endorsement money in crypto from companies such as Nike, Pepsi, and Visa. Now, he said that the amount is enough to make him eight, an eight-figure actor or athlete, which may be why we're seeing more top stars switching over to cryptocurrency. All right, so now the NFL is a hotbed for cryptocurrency investments with Aaron Jones, Odell Beckham Jr., two teammates from the Green Bay Packers, uh, as well as Super Bowl champion Trevor Lawrence, all are investing in Bitcoin. Now, with the entrance of these high-profile investors, it's clear that cryptocurrencies are moving closer and faster towards becoming a mainstream asset, and I am all here for it, okay? <laughs> Okay, so jumping into our next story, it says Unicredit fined $144 million for illegally closing crypto mining firms accounts. All right, so uh, the district court in Banja Luka has ruled that Unicredit's branch office will pay a $144 million fine following a lawsuit filed by Bitminer Factory uh, subsidiary, subsidiary, sorry tongue tied. Now the CEO of Bitminer Factory is claiming that Unicredit wrongfully closed uh, their current accounts in Banja Luka, preventing them from continuing with plans for an upcoming cryptocurrency mining project. Now the firm set up a mining operations in Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, due to the country's low energy tariff and open bank accounts with Unicredit. Now, while the bank previously allowed them to withdraw profits from the sale of the mine crypto to their accounts, the Unicredit uh, subsidiary stopped, stating that it could not service cryptocurrency business and suppliers. However, the court ruled that the bank could not present evidence of any written rules which prevented it from forming business relationships with crypto-based firms. Now, Unicredit is complaining about the lack of clarity in this judgment and has reportedly appealed to the higher courts. Now, they say that it is not uh, definite, binding, nor enforceable. So they are really not trying to pay this money. But hey, if you agreed upon something, then I'm with them. You, you, you should pay up. I'm sorry. Your word is everything. But we'll see how that goes. All right. So in our final story. Um, we're going to piggyback off of a topic I covered yesterday and we're checking on Bitcoin. So it says Bitcoin continues to climb towards long-term resistance near 51,000. Okay, so the price of Bitcoin has been on a steady incline since like January 24th um, when it hit an all-time high at 48 thousand dollars okay now it's possible that the entire movement may contain may be contained within one giant parallel channel with an upwards momentum 
Now, if the upward if the upward move continues, it will encounter resistance probably around 51,000. Now, this is a long-term level that coincides with an earlier uh, trend and resistance line that could stop any new gains in their tracks, okay? So technical indicators are showing that the market will continue to go up. Now, the price movement has been very interesting so far, but we are still early on in the course of the major events that could change everything. So if we go ahead and take a look at the charts, um, we can see that as of right, still yesterday, it's consolidating in this little box right here. So it passed through this, it broke through, I don't want to say pass through, it broke through um, this resistant level. And now it's just consolidating in this level. Now, if it breaks down, if it, you know, breaks out of this channel downwards, I believe it's going to uh, retest this support level now, because now it's support. Once it breaks resistance, the resistance becomes support. Just giving you guys a little training um, on trading. <laughs> um, but I believe it'll come back down to this support level, test it a little bit before shooting back up. Now, if it goes out past this little consolidated box, it, I definitely see it coming up to the 51,500 level, okay? So probably come up here and um, consolidate a little bit before even going past, okay? So I am definitely seeing 100,000K by the end of the year, I'm sorry. Um, I know we had a lot of naysayers and a, not, a lot of non-believers, but the way this crypto is moving, Bitcoin is just going. And then everybody with the crypto adoption, come on, it's hard not to believe it, right? So we're going to monitor it and I'm going to be here every step of the way with you guys, all right? So that's all I had to cover today. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please go ahead and like this video, share with other crypto-minded friends and family, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.